Good morning. We're um, back in the creek. Had a wide rain. It's been freezing cold. It was the coldest morning yesterday morning in 16 years. But I don't mind coming out when there's a bit of water because you know you can see so much more of the flow patterns of the creek. And um, just got this this morning. This is the Angus McCurk Eureka. I got a grub stake as well for the smaller creeks that go in. And I tell you what, I was a bit worried it wasn't clearing out, but then I just jammed up this bit back here. You can see we've got a bit more water flowing through. It's beautiful. I'm just you get a bit sick of carrying your high banker in and your pump and setting it all up. So I thought I'd get a big sluice and see how much volume you can put through. I mean, this clears as fast as you can feed it. Right. You can do a bucket in, you know, a couple of minutes. I love it. And uh, I'll do a video on the grub stake too. One of one of those smaller creeks. But so far, you know, it's so good. We'll probably screen it down a little bit, but I don't think it's going to lose any. I'll check the riffles when I clean it out. And I'll just pick on standard in my hole here. This is where I'm digging straight out of here. You can see this big rock here. Yeah. You can see an old quartz vein right there. I don't know where that's broken out of. But... Good to be back out getting some gold. Well, hopefully getting some gold. He's running pretty hard. I'll show you as I feed it a bit. I actually got it from McCurk in America. To get the... It didn't cost that much extra with the postage to get the two of them. Saved a bit of money. We took... Um, just over two weeks to get in. Oh, this is brilliant. Let's see that. I was gonna come out the other day and I couldn't find me easy sluice. Didn't know where I'd put it. Then when I got here, I haven't been here for probably a month, I climbed over a log and <laughs> my sluice was sitting there. I'll show you when I go back to the car. That must have fallen out, I didn't even notice. to see no one's coming out here in the winter if it's been sitting there for a month in fact it might even be longer it might have been that last video I did was the last time I was here but this one this is pretty remote up here it's going to walk right up through the scrum that's why I got this you know to be able to process so much more material mm, can't see any gold yet No, I'll keep feeding it. I'll come back when we do the first clean out. That I mean, done quite fit in a bucket, but I knew it wouldn't, but it's still pretty easy to clean out. I did a quick run before just to see what it was like to set up. But it looks like a lot of water for this one. Nothing a quick dam build can't fix. And see how we go. Well, I've just finished those three buckets. And that's incredible how fast this thing processes it. Like I could probably get a bit more water through here. It'd be even quicker. If you can see that material dancing around in there. Not sure if there's any gold on there. Can't see any yet. But you can see there's only heavies left. If you had it classified it down, you could run it even faster. I've got to just classified down to half inch. But it wouldn't have taken more than five minutes to run those three half buckets. I'm going to use the little buckets. Easy to carry around. So I might just do a quick clean out and see what this spot's like. This is a new hole and I didn't test pan it either. But usually pretty. There's not too many spots that don't have gold in this creek. Let's see how we go. Oh, it takes about 10 seconds to clean out. 
Look how many ponds I got out of it. So that's pretty crazy. Here, might get skunk here. So, this is the cons from the three of those buckets. Got quick pans, I believe, that one is in here. Yeah, it traps the heavies. Every now and then I'll just pan into another pan, see if I'm losing any. I've been having a good run lately, I haven't found any in the other pan. Better be gold in here. I reckon new sluice. Lots of black sand. There's some gold. See you just here. A few real fine pieces, that's not very much, this is a bit of a rubbish hole. But I suppose that's an advantage of this sluice, you can run it that quick that you can sample with it. That's a pretty good chunk there actually. There's another one there, one there. Camera never shows it up that well, does it? But there's go. No problem. These sluices don't make gold, do they? <laughs> Might do another bucket out of here. I'm getting deep. The deeper you get here, the better. And I just started hitting. You can see this blue stone. Oh, there's a bit of this. Once you start getting into the blue stone down here. Oh, here we go. You can see it comes with stringers in it. Most of the gold they found in this creek was around these dikes. You can see with the stringers in them as they break down, you know the gold was either side of it. You can see how blue it is, super blue. And I mean you can see it in action right there can't you, as that quartz breaks down, any gold in there. I've never seen a stringer that big in this creek. Pretty happy with that, and if the little run, the little grub stake runs as well as that, you know it's a little hard to get creeks. There's a lot of the ones with the, you know, not much water in them. They actually have more gold in there, but you can't do. It's really hard to process. And what I like about this one too is I'll be able to, you know, easily enough make that a power source for the summertime. I got the the bilge pump all ready to go. I've got a two thousand and a three thousand. 3,700, but this I'd take probably less than 2,000. So that'll be perfect in the summer, put some legs on it. So I'll keep going today and might just come back at the very end. I might do a bit of this, show you a bit of this, but I'll come back at the very end and see how much we, how much gold we can get. I was just having a play around with this. We got some better flow and I don't have a tripod, but actually just pump straight into that. Clears out nicely. Very 
really need to get a tripod for this camera. Clears out beautifully. Might just keep going like that for a while, I think. So there's another advantage, you can yabby pump straight into it. I found a tripod, so I'll show you. See how quickly those um those riffles are clear now. Yeah. Get a little bit of a good patch here every time. I don't know you can see it as it goes through. It's really orange, I like these rusty patches they always see. Some good gold. Here. I can't believe how quickly that works. Well, yeah, she got to see it nice in there. You see that stuff dancing around. Those bigger rocks, you know, they bounce out pretty quick. And plus, with the, the pumps not picking up huge ones. You can see from that, I'm just sitting on my stool. Got to clear out the end every now and then. So I'll keep running along. I think I'll probably clean it out once. Maybe after an hour. You can still see that's just cleaning out the hurdle. Keep on going. Kept going with this hole. I thought this bit of bedrock, but it's not. So it's, you know, deeper down, when you get a big rock like this, and if you can lift it out underneath, it's always, you know, pretty good. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to lift it out. Where are we going to sit you? Sit you here. Oh, I hope you can see. Oh. Then underneath that, you should get some good going, especially right by here. I'm fine, so I'm, I've got to do a fair bit of pan in this creek. So many stringers. I haven't seen that many in this creek. See that? All in this one spot, maybe old timers. Cracked up into a rocky. Even this massive one is full of them. So I'll keep going now. I mean, I'm down two feet now, probably. And I'm loving just cleaning this straight out into there, it's great. Every now and then I've got to clear out the back. Let's see what's under this rock then. Well, I'm going to give up on this hole. Yeah. See the gold up top there. 
It's not too bad, but I've been going two and a half hours. You know, we'll see if we can find a better hole. But I love just sitting there pumping that yabby pump through it. Yeah. We'll go and do another hole and see how we go with that one. But it's not a bad goal. Just want a little bit more, which is always the issue, isn't it? <laughs> I was just moving spots up the river and I came across this bedrock outcrop. You can see it's running across the creek, so I'd say back in the old days someone would have had a field day with a dredge in here. I mean, I'm just going to show you, this is a perfect example of a gold trap. So what I'll do, I'll just give this a quick clean out. And see if we can find any gold in it. I'm just going to pan it. Can't walk past little bits like this. You've got to stop and have a go. If it's any good, you might find more gold in there than you will all day. Or you might find nothing. So we'll, we'll see. Well, not a speck. <laughs> So much for a gold trap. I was looking at this old bank. It's crazy how much. Look at all these quartz in here. Quartz, quartz. All the way through. I'm worth having a swing of the detector through there. There's more strands. Let's see whether. The way the creek's cut down through it. Could be some nuggets stuck up in there. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, put a few hard yards in and come a fair way up the creek. And one of me mates I got go pen him with, he's been pretty crook. So Casper, here's your old bridge mate. He found this on a map and I walked up one day and found it. Down here it just looks like a couple old trees have fallen down. But if you bear with me. This could get interesting. It's a bridge. There's the road. <laughs> I think this road um, get through. There's two more gold fields up here. And Casper, you know what gullies up there. I don't want to say it on the video. So it's just over that hill, mate. And here. Here's the bridge. I've walked over it before. It's just crazy what those old times would do to get to some gold. And it's funny because it opens up into a farm up here. The main road would be so much easier once they put the main road to get in there. But those two gullies are the last ones that they worked. They even worked it during the depression. So I'm not sure when they stop using the old bridge fall in won't be all that happy still sturdy well, you can see there's just no sign of the road at all oh. let's see if you can see clearing nothing I've actually walked up there in the summer once you get up past this log here, it opens up and you can see the old track all over the road. I've never gone past this bridge on this creek. Blackberries are a killer. I mean, who knows how they, you can see that's five pretty big logs. 
including the one that's falling through. How they got them across this creek. There must have been some good gold. Bullocks, I suppose. But it's amazing. You can see the size of that gun tree over there, it's massive. So, Casper, I hope you're on the mend, mate. So, there's something you can get out. And we'll go and check out that gully together. Go and get some more gold. I'm all done. Good day exploring. Gold wasn't great. It was alright. But at least you find out, you know, your spots to go back to. But as for sluice, it's awesome. So, I caught some real fine stuff. And some chunky stuff as well. This log here is where I left me. Easy sluice last time. I found it this morning. Still my head in. I didn't know where I'd put it. So, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.